What's up, it's your boy Rob the Aftershock. And I'm on this video because, and if you're tagged on this video, that means you reacted to it on social media. So, you're tagged in it. This is my Who Really Killed J JFK, John F. Kennedy, and Marilyn Monroe. This video really got me going deep into the internet. Especially on the Marilyn Monroe side, because I already know so much, and I'm so familiar with John F. Kennedy. But I've never really took the time to learn who Marilyn Monroe was. I mean, I know of her, obviously. You know what I'm saying. And so I actually learned a lot about Marilyn Monroe. Um, I learned she was like married a shitload of times for the 50s and 60s. Um. But it was recently brought to my attention. I mean, I knew they had a little friendship. I didn't know how far it went back or how deep it went. But John F. Kennedy had a really good relationship with Marilyn Monroe. It went back all the way to 1957. And if I'm not mistaken, Marilyn Monroe was... She overdosed, supposedly. Now, let's, let's, let's rewind. Um... Marilyn Monroe's life. She spent a lot of her life taking back what they prescribed back then as an antidepressant. And she overdosed a couple times. I did not know that. So, the reason for her death in the 60s, or in 62, 63, 64, one of the years, was because of this drug overdose. And this drug is still prescribed today. It was just a little bit it had its ingredients tweaked a little bit so it wasn't as dangerous. That's what killed officially. That's who killed or what killed um, Marilyn Monroe. John F. Kennedy, if you watch the video of him in his car going down the street, you see him get shot twice. And I watched a documentary here on Facebook, or on YouTube, rather, um, of the guy who did the autopsy, the official autopsy, of JFK. It had a hole in his throat, which they tried to say was a tracheotomy, which, why would he need a tracheotomy when he was shot in the back of the head? So... In that person's opinion, he was shot twice. One time from the front, which I believe is that bridge that crosses that road that he was on. And one from the back, which could have been as close as that little field that they were crossing and going by. I've always felt that John F. Kennedy was fit, killed by our government. And I do know John F. Kennedy told Marilyn Monroe top secret stuff did the government kill Marilyn Monroe or fake her suicide or fake her death I don't know if you're asking me I'm going to tell you yeah that's what I believe <laughs> if you're asking on the record somebody who is I guess up top of that level, they're going to probably to, oh, she overdosed on this, on this drug, you know. John F. Kennedy. He, it was other, it was more than just that dude in the window with the, it, it was somebody on that bridge as well, or either in that field in, in hiding somewhere. Our government is what I'm saying, it's killed both of them, I believe. You can believe what you want to. If you don't like the video, you can give it a thumbs down. You have the option to do that. If you have some comments on this video, I would like you to put them down below. But I do believe that our government killed John F. Kennedy. I'm going to do a separate video why I believe John F. Kennedy was killed by our government and the details behind my theory on why John F. Kennedy was shot by our government. Or sh shot by our government, you know, well, you know what I'm saying. I will do a separate video on that one. Um, but, generally speaking, John F. Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe 
or murdered indirectly, directly, whatever you want to call it, by the United States government because of the secrets that they knew. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it or didn't disagree with it, you can give it a thumbs down and you can suck on my right nut. Have a good day.